right, what's up everybody? We are back at a nice big open field in Salt Lake for our day two of the road to 500 feet. Um, I've got something new to try, a little bit more of a I think, mental shift as opposed to a form shift, but uh, I've used it in a couple rounds now and it's been working pretty well. So we're gonna see how much of an impact it has on distance. Yeah, let's jump into it. Road to 500 feet. Um, the change we're gonna be making today, I mentioned is more mental than physical. Um, typically in my form, it's kind of a subtle thing, so it's really hard for me to notice, but I would lead more with my front shoulder and not necessarily drive with my lower body. So the only shift I'm making today is instead of thinking about trying to drive my arm through, through the power pocket to release, I'm literally just trying to rotate my hips as fast as possible and get ahead of my arm. And then we're just gonna see what the arm does behind it. So that's literally it. Um, we've got four distance drivers here. We're going to do a few different sets. Um, trying this little change, I'll range them, tell you the distance. Um, hopefully, we see some improvement. All right, we got two destroyers and then two doomsday cataclysms. A little more stable, a little flippier. A little flippy. Not bad, just low. These are also my first throws of the day, so we're warming up too. <laughs> Alright, last one. We're probably just going to call this a warm up set. Up throws we're getting to about 390 so pretty good not really far off where we were uh, max distance on day one so I'm gonna try to emphasize a little bit more hopefully go farther because I've actually thrown a couple shots now today Let's do it. It's a little too much turn kind of just dropped out of the air A bit better. We're averaging about 400 feet on that set. Um, the third one I actually pushed out to about 420. So at a minimum, some improvement from our day one video. It's really, it's such a subtle change. Um, I'm sure I'm still not quite lagging enough, but essentially I've found that if I only focus on driving my hips, my arm just naturally lags behind. And that's something that I really struggle with in my form in general. Um, I know if you go watch a lot of the pros, their arm doesn't even start moving forward until the front foot is pretty much firmly planted on the ground. I still don't think I'm quite there yet, um, but at least initially in my form, my arm would be here um, when my front foot hit. So I was losing quite a bit of speed there. Um, I think by trying to drive with my hips, I'm at least maybe here, not quite full reach back, but at least a little bit closer to it than I was. And that's helping me get that extra, I guess, 20 to 25 feet of distance um, that I found today. So, or at least back in the, in the 400s, um, I've also noticed that I just generally throw way shorter when it's cold outside. I don't know if other people experience that, but it's low 40s today in Utah. I'm uh, running to get dish just so I can try to stay a little warm. Um, but typically once it hits like 60 or 70 or I travel somewhere where it's warmer, um, I have quite a bit of distance. So my, uh, my first big, big through, breakthrough in distance might just come when 
it warms up here. But uh, we're gonna keep going in the cold weather for now. So um, hit 420 there. I'm gonna go probably two more sets, um, see how those go, and then we'll probably wrap it up. Doesn't stay in the air very long. <laughs> I can feel my arm lagging on that one. right wind I think it's just knocking those down. Oh, not seeing the air. Yeah. Don't think quite as good as the, the 420 last round, but full we'll range. Alright, we didn't hit 420 again on that one. Last set. Let's see if we can get a little bit farther. wrap it up for today um we did we had 415 a couple times with that last set and then the white one that i threw first went 430 so hit 430 um some pretty solid improvement for for one i guess one extra day of working on distance i had uh, implemented it in a couple rounds already but fun to see it work in the field too um and i guess just to summarize really the only thing i was doing differently there was instead of trying to increase my arm speed through and thinking about moving my arm as quickly as possible, I was literally just thinking about rotating my hips. So the second that my front foot hit the ground, I would think about just rotating my hips as quickly as I could. Um, I think that I was doing that. I, I really don't even know if I was. It was really like a, a mental correction about what my swing thought was and not what I was actually doing. Um, hopefully it was actually working, but literally just that mental correction added I mean, I think I was at like 390 or 395 day one. So we had 430 once today, added 35 feet, maybe 40 feet. Um, hopefully that trend continues. If it does, we'll hit 500 feet pretty quickly, but uh, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Um, maybe we'll wait for slightly warmer weather to film another one. We'll see, but uh, hopefully this is somewhat educational. Um, maybe some of you experience the same issues that I do in form and uh, this will help you get over those as well. So. Day two to 500 feet, day three is coming up. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.